to Tribe, Tribe TV. TV. I'm Aaron Baker. And I'm Lure Godado. As you all know, the broadcasting has been split up into two teams. Last week, the team bl- flourishing... Arsh... Bled... Arsh... Gar- yeah, that, I think that's it. I think. Anywho, this week is our time, Tribe TV, where we bring you the news, the funnies, and it may give you the gigglies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get things started off by getting turned up. Welcome to second turn up and drink. Turn up. Rule number one. I am never turned down. Y'all people uh, be like, oh, I'm gonna come into school. School's boring. But you know what? I always wake up in the morning because I'm swagtastic. And I say, turn up for days, baby. Let's go. Done. And now with sports with Chaz, Creed, and PP. It's Pepe. Oh, thank God. Oh, I should not have ate mom's meatloaf if you know what I'm saying. Man, jeez, like they match or something. <laughs> oh, meatloaf, meatloaf. Oh, what? Well, hi there. Hello. I'm Chas Fillmore. And I'm Creed Fillmore. And we're the Fillmores. And I'm Pepe. Anyway, and we're back. Tribe TV has agreed to sign Chas, Creed, and Pepe as their sports anchors for the rest of the semester. Uh, no, they, no, they didn't. Clearly, Coach Hopkins is a coach of this fine sport behind him. What exactly is this sport? Oh, uh, no, you're mistaken. I'm the girl basketball coach. Girls play basketball? Yes, we play basketball. Very physical. And when is the next home game? Next home game will not be until we play Lafayette. I believe it's uh, February 4th. We're in the tournament next week in Cameron, and then we'll be back home versus Lafayette. Excuse me, Jesse Dickens, can we talk to you about basketball? No. Apparently, this is the waiting line for Coach Kimmerling. He's a busy guy. Busy guy. What sport does he coach again? Men's hockey. What's hockey? I think it's like show choir, but like more aggressive. I believe you just. Oh, it's like that singing on ice. Skate around on the ice. Oh, man. I saw Fighting Nemo on ice last week. That was good. Fantastic show. You ever seen Toy Story? Are you kidding? They have that? They have that. Oh, God. Buzz does a triple midair spin. I love the triple spin. It's Good my st- favorite move. Good stuff. Favorite. All right, we're here with Coach Kim... 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 How do you pronounce that? You got it. Kim... Kim... Yep. Okay. okay. Kim... Kim... Coach Kim... Kim... Uh, he coaches... Um, the bas- basketball. Yes. Basketball. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. All right. Um, you your, your season, has it started yet? It has started. A couple months ago it started. Oh. And how are you guys doing? We are seven and six, doing all right. That's a winning season. What uh, improvements, if any, do you think the team could make? Oh, I'd say there's a lot of improvements we can make. Uh, you know, a little better defense, hit, hit a few more shots on offense. Well, wait, 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 you shoot people in this game? We try not to shoot the basketball at the orange hoop out there. Oh, okay. oh ba- <laughs> basketball, okay. okay. I was confused for a second. Well, th- this is a uh, Coach Kim Kimerlang yes. with basketball. Thank you. Hey. And now with the hallway traffic report from Pepe. There's nobody in the hallways. And now for a story on show choir with the Norwegian. It's Christina. Sorry. Hi, I'm Hamme Fru Thurm. I forstår that there have been a competition for you have. Well, it was down in Mount Vernon, you know, a good four hours there, four hours back. But it was a great overall competition. Oh, that's really interesting. What's new about it? Well, there were 17 choirs there, and we placed third in our division, which is great. Oh, that's a great for them. Can you tell us a little bit about how you forstår that there have been a competition for well, we are doing something called Cut for Choir, where every $200 we raise, I cut an inch off of my hair. If we happen to raise $2,000, all of this will be gone. That was chicly bright, isn't it? Thank you. This just in, we have more on the traffic report with Pepe. There's somebody in the hallways. Cut that!
I was thinking, when a person gets a virus, they're sick. So when a computer gets a virus, does that mean the computer gets sick? And wouldn't that make a tech guy a doctor? Cut the well, that'll do it for this week's broadcast, Savages. We'll see you next time on Tribe TV. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh.